All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everyone. Today is pretty hot. The heat wave hit Malaysia pretty bad, so we have to do this real quick before the car get hot and I get hot. Anyway, this is 2018 F90 M5 with some slight modification. I will show you later. Uh, everything you can see almost stock. But if I call M5 a sleeper, it's kind of underrated because there is no M sleeper M5. But anyway, let's cut to the chase and go to the details. Vamos! Boom! Alright. Look at the face. It's black on black, but this comes with a lot of carbon fiber part, especially inside here. That one, I show you the last part because that one, the part I need to show off. Anyway. This is inventory, this is additional aftermarket parts. Inventory is one of the best carbon fiber parts, especially for BMW for the last so many years. I mean like the last 10 years at least. This is the front splitter, it's left and right. It's not the whole thing. And then this, this is the LED, what they call? Let me read it again. Yeah, BMW adaptive LED. There's something I don't really understand, not my language, but if you want to know further, Google it up. I will explain about the performance of the car only. Anyway, I take a look of the car. This is the front face. To me, it looks amazing. It's black and black. Black and carbon fiber is always thin. Uh, but the bumper is stuck. The hood is stuck. Like I said, it's kind of a sleeper, but it looks aggressive. Let's move to the side. Boom! Alright, I like to jump. Anyway, let's talk about the front tire setup. Not much to say. This is the original spec from straight from the MW. Uh, 20 inch, 275. I like it because it's a fat tire. 35. The tire is pretty 2 years old. Still quite tread left. More than 50%. I could say 70%. Uh, six spot brake, stock, uh, drill disc brake, and the tire is pretty wide as you can see it's 275, so this car is pretty heavy, it's 2.440 kilograms, so 2.4 tons, it needs a really wide tire, the rear tire is even wider, i show you after this, this is another inventory parts, the M5 batch, it looks nice. Carbon fiber is always with. All right, to the back. All right. All right, this is the rear setup. I want to show you the side skirt first. This is from inventory to carbon fiber. Carbon fiber all the way. And this is the rear tire setup. Come with still 20, but wider tire, 228, 35. With this one is two pot. Uh, this brake caliper, this one is stock from BMW. I don't agree with BMW when they give this powerful car with just two port at the back. Why don't you give at least four? This is a really nice car. Anyway, stop bitching. Uh, this is Potenza RE71RS. I always wonder why they give a really long name for a tire. I appreciate it. Three later only. Anyway. Uh, the tire is semi-slick, semi so it's track ready car. Uh, it's only two years old tires from 2021 and the rest is stock. Let's move to the bonnet. Okay, let's move to the rear. The first thing I notice about the rear of this car is the diffuser. This one comes from inventory. And the ducktail comes with the inventory. I accidentally, accidentally pushed the bonnet button for this car. Anyway, the bonnet is up. The exhaust is stock, even though the car is tuned to stage 2. But we keep it stock, like I said. It's kind of sleeper. Anyway, look at the... I let you enjoy it real quick. It's automatically down. And the diffuser looks good. It's carbon fiber, good quality carbon fiber, and the dark tape. 
the duck tail <laughs> i love duck tail way better than the gt wing anyway let's see the boot size open sesame come on come on come on come on come on all right the boot size is pretty decent ah. Oh, they closed before I do. I came in. All right. I do not know how many liters, but from my experience, it's as big as F10, five series. So you can. It looks like four hundred liters, in my experience. But anyway, it's quite spacious for this kind of car. Uh, very powerful car with a lot of space. It's perfect for family. Anyway, that's it. I would love to try to fit in inside. I can. I think I can lay down, but not enough for bikes. What a shame. But great car. Love it. Now you can turn off. All right. Now time for the interior. Well, M5 is huge. Uh. But check it out. M seat belt at the back with the stitches, uh, M logo, color theme, nice. And I love white interior. When I was younger, I hate white interior. I always look for red or black. But that is so 1960s. <laughs> anyway, the space is good. Uh, just now I drove it, so I pulled back the seat a little bit. But. The bonnet size is pretty decent. I'm 175 cm height, but my legs still have some, and my head still have quite a uh, space. So I think if you are 190, it's still good. Some of the car performance car, the rear is quite low, so I don't like it. Uh, like the CLA 45 uh, is quite low. All the CLA versions. But this one is spacious. Uh, I love it. It comes with uh, the sound system is awesome. Bowers and Wilsons. Uh, it's quite hard to pronounce. I hope I pronounced it correctly. It comes with two AC at the back. So you have compartment here, left and right. And it looks great. It's all leather. Not This one is not carbon fiber. But other than that, you have light here and the light in front. Uh, it looks like a hotel light. It's really nice design. It looks like the tail lights with LED all the way back. Anyway, time for the driver's seat. My favorite position in the car. Okay, I try not to say all right again. Anyway, this is the front end of the car. Uh, my favorite uh, seats. Of course, you can adjust all the way back, whatever you want to do. You can, you can even set up the memory seats here and there. White interior is awesome. Everything here, you can push. They have compartment here. This one, uh, I show you the close-up details. Another inventory parts, carbon fiber here, here, and here, and here. I like the new uh, gear knob. It looks uh, sporty with uh, some carbon fiber and uh, red lining it's in uh, same goes here they have set up looks like a firefighter jet and everything here can you hear supra just walking is it a supra anyway uh let me show you the up close of the car real quick come on all right up close in the M5, uh, I love fat steering. This is the best size steering ever. Uh, all the M car come with that. It's quite fat, but I love it. Okay, pay attention here. This is aftermarket. This is inventory. This is inventory. This is inventory, and this is inventory. Uh, in my case, it's pretty short, but the design is great. Take a look of that. Look at that. Look at that come with uh, M stitches anyway that is the mileage of the car this is uh, uh, 45,000 uh, kilometers uh, 45,335 up to date uh, I think it's about time for me to turn on the engine kick the clutch and uh, no sorry there is no clutch uh, and the engine
Yala, yala, yala. You cannot hear the, vo uh, the noise yet because the soundproofing of this car is pretty amazing. So you can set up a lot of this. Uh, I show you in a little bit. Anyway, this is the driver control console. Uh, it still come uh, with uh, I, gear knob. Gear knob. This one is also inventory. Yeah, check it out like that. It looks nice. I like the red uh, stitching over here and everything here and then there is one compartment over here ah there's so many okay hide it and then where you turn on the suspension setup steering setup this is the exhaust on and off anyway uh that's the buff and then here the traction control of where the fun begins if you are real man this is your favorite buttons and then this is the navigations i mean uh to control this little man here so you control here and then, and then, and then, and then, and then you can uh, see and how and then oh that's Malaysia and then the whole entire wall. Anyway, let's focus back and then check out the uh, seats. I love it. This is the second time I, I'm selling white interior M car and that's the rear. Uh, good for five uh, family that so nice so nice all right now the best part the engine to open the engine is easy just here ah uh, my hand is too short one one two all right now you can see over there the engine is up let's check it out look at that just now it's bloody hot 10 minutes after that, it's raining. Crazy Malaysia weather, but I love it. Anyway, that is how do you do it. Just pop the hood. Look at that. Everything here is for inventory. So carbon fiber here and everything here. This car is tuned to stage two by VTE. So the stock power is 625 brake horsepower with 750 newton meter of torque. But now it's around 700 80 brake horsepower the torque is unknown you buy it you drive it you know it anyway i have to go up close to show you how great inventory product is and this come all together with the car by the way is it speak it speed statronic x drive hi bmw can you make a short to name of something anyway lovely car I love this car. Alright, before you go up front, check this out. You see that? This is the front grill and there is some air duct over here. What it do, all the cool air, when you drive fast, the faster you drive, the faster the air will come in. And then we go here, and straight to the turbo. This is 4.4 liter V8. Tune to stage 2 by VTE. I just said it just now. So now, look at that, the detail. They have BM, WM power here, all carbon fiber, including here, including here. Look at that. That is inventory. Thank you, inventory, for your innovation of creative carbon fiber parts. And look at that. Just appreciate how great is that. What a uh, engineering. This is a beast of art. Anyway, time to hear the exhaust. The exhaust is stuck, but it's still loud. Trust me. Lovely car. Okay. The last part. The noise of the F63B44. And I forgot the last words. Anyway, this is top 5 from M5. But we stitch to VDE tuning. Let's try How about that? No pop and bangs because 
obviously it's not on the roads, but once you shift on the roads, when you rest really high, high enough, pop and bang time. Anyway, let's get back inside of the car. By the way, this is the key. It looks pretty good. It looks like a little toy, spaceship toy. M5 F90. All right, before we go, I just want to show you the function of this car. They have a lot of functions. So the media, this is the main menu. So you, this is the radio communication. Just now we are, this is all the GPS. You can put your address, your house or whatever you want. And then there is connected drive. This one you have to put, uh, what is it called? You have to connect with BMW details. This is my vehicles. You can set up a lot of a lot of things. The M1, M2 on the steering wheel, the X drive, driver profile, vehicle status. You have all kind of tuning here. Set up. You can check out because everything is electronic now. And then what else do you have? This is notifications. Uh, uh, need to put more oil. Anyway, that's pretty much uh, this is the map you have GPS and then navigation around here and then you can put here and then options this is options split screen you can do everything here and back here so you can see where I am now just now that I show you you can go a lot of things that is Malaysia East Malaysia and the whole entire world all right let's see my face all right, that's it. The car is going for sale. Just one last time to wrap it up. Uh, this car is 2018 F90 M5 with stage two tuning. The stock power was 625 horsepower with 750 Nm meter of torque, but modified to stage two, meaning stage two, you just have a downpipe. And but the exhaust is stock. So now estimate is around 720 horsepower. The talk, I never dine on it, so I don't know. I forgot. Anyway, the car is in great conditions, low mileage, forty-five thousand three hundred and thirty-five. You saw it just now. The car is four-wheel drive, four-point-four liter V8, uh, eight speed. I think eight speed is way too much. I like six, but anyway, all the new car have more gearing, so for, they said for fuel efficiency. But anyway. The car come with a lot of inventory parts you see inside the engine some of interior some at the back some in the steering and here you can see in the video it's amazing i like i, I like this kind of uh, modification not too much stock look but just some tweak of carbon fiber because performance car deserve carbon fiber parts anyway the rest of the car is stock stock wheels stock tire the front is michelin at the back is semi slick uh, pirelli Sorry, uh, Potenza RE71 RS, a very long name for me to remember, but I somehow I remember it anyway. All right, you can always contact me with the link on my bio up here. Don't be shy, I work uh, and respond very quick on WhatsApp, so don't be shy. It's negotiable slightly, and we can meet. Uh, this is a personal car, so you we can meet somewhere in KL. Uh, contact me first and then we talk from there the car is 2018 so basically it's only five years old loan is still available you can do your own loan or i can help as long as you get the car i'm happy uh, if the car, my customer is happy i'm happy trust me anyway that's it for now don't forget to check out all my video i have few video in my youtube channel or my instagram you can follow pantas.my in Instagram or pantas in YouTube. Uh, and don't forget to click subscribe. This is the first time I ask you to click subscribe. I never bothered to do it anymore. Anyway, ciao. Vamos.